What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a gameplay with the reward card for the new uh, Moments of the Week 3 packs. So, we managed to get the Pink Diamond Damian Lillard for getting all of these cards, and guys, leave it in the comments who you guys want for my next gameplay. So my next gameplay is going to be either one of Devin Booker or D'Angelo Russell, so leave it in the comments who you guys want. And whichever the most commented one is, well, the most commented one through a couple of minutes anyway, because that's what it'll take for me to um, uh, decide in a video and start to record it, I will end up using that player. So I'm going to take Booker out of the squad here because I'd originally planned on doing a Booker gameplay and obviously I managed to get D'Angelo Russell. So who do I want to play at the two? Um, actually, I think this guy might do a good job here. Oh, 2K! They changed it. I could have swore he was a small forward slash two guard. I could have swore that he could play at the two. Oh no, maybe I was wrong. He was always a small forward slash power forward. Thought maybe he could have been usable. Well, actually, not maybe he could have been usable. He definitely would have been usable. So I'm going to put in Luca at the two, KD at the three, or. Yeah, Katie at the three, LeBron at the four, and then replace Devin Booker with Jay or Smith. And then obviously we are going to be putting in Dame Lillard at point guard. So the team we're running with is Dame Lillard at the one, Luke at the two, KD at the three, LeBron at the four, Dunk at the five. And obviously the basically death lineup of Gilbert, Tiras, Paul George, Giannis, and LaFrance. I'm actually going to put in a big man here, a power forward slash center probably. And trying to think who's the best for that. Call of friends, um, Mike can probably, yeah. So this is a good enough team. Let's go over the stats for Dame Lillard. He has he's six foot three, ninety seven offense, eighty five defense overall, five ball of fame badge, volume shooter, range extender, dead eye, uh, space creator, and giant slayer. He has got um, gold dimer, which is good. He's got slittery finisher, quick first step gold, difficult shots gold, which is a good badge to have. Hot zone hunter, quick draw is a good badge to have. Unfortunately, silver steady shooter, which isn't great, and silver um, floor general. It doesn't really matter because Luke is on the floor when he was Hall of Fame. He's got 83, sorry, 88 three ball, 91 mid range, good driving layup, good driving dunk, good ball handling, good passing stats, got a decent steal rating, not great perimeter defense, but not absolutely terrible. Speed is fairly decent and vertical is good. So, yeah, he should be quite decent. Okay, out of quickness. So, anyway, now it's gone to the release or the Hot Zones arm release for Lillard. Then we're going to get out to the game. So, Lillard has got Hot Zones almost everywhere outside the three point line. His release, obviously, is. It's actually not bad at all. Sometimes release kind of get ruined a quick draw. And obviously um, this one doesn't. Let's see what the leaner is like. Okay, that leaner is not too bad. Types into the three. All right, and then obviously he's a Hall of Fame range extender. So not a bit of a Gilbert Arenas about him that he can pull from like here and consistently hit shots, which is good. Go into the basket. Obviously he's got a good driving dunk. He could just be kind of like, not necessarily going to call him a better Gilbert Arenas, but another Gilbert Arenas, and that's my favorite point guy in the game, so if he's even close to Gilbert, I'll be definitely using him as my third string point guy probably over Jojo, even though Jojo has a leaner, because obviously I like Shea Gilgis Alexander because of his defense, but offensively, Gilbert's on our level, but um. Yeah, well, it seems like he's going to be quite decent. So now it's just green with three. And now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are playing against John Wall, Paul George, Brandon Ingram, Anthony Davis, and Shaq. I played against this guy yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I played this guy yesterday in the gameplay. And fairly comfortably beat him, I think. Maybe not, but obviously you can't even create a bench lineup now. and got to go subs one by one, so... Unfortunately, actually, maybe you can do it different. Maybe the update hasn't hit PC yet. Because that sometimes happens. Sometimes it takes a day or two for an update to hit PC. Lads, I can I can make subs. I can make subs. It's a miracle. Snatch back into the three pointer. Dame Lillard, 52% contested. Can't hit it. But lads, I can make the subs. That is just something I'm so happy to see. Because it's something that we may we are not going to be able to do on console. And in a couple of days, I won't be able to do it. But. Lucky enough for today, I can make subs. 
goes right by him to the basket. Damon Lillard, swat of 80. All right, that would have been nice because I just turboed in a straight line if he was able to get a score off it. Okay. Connect. Okay, moving shot. And Lillard hits the three. Okay, let's go, Luca. In the corner for three. Dame Lillard greens it up the Hall of Fame timer pass. So he's at two three pointers to start the game. Well, two threes in the first minute of the game. Not a bad showing at all. I know you won't keep the scoring up, but right now he's on track for 100. Okay, let's just go back and now beat him. Good job. Dame Lillard, easy dunk. That's a terrible shot. And the ball went a little bit over Shaq. Stop on the break. Dame Lillard moving from DP, knocks it down. He's at two moving non-green shots, which is very, very rare. And there John Wall gets swatted. Dame Lillard comes up with the rebound. He's open on the break. Okay, release. Can't hit it. And Luka Doncic. He's averaging 11 points or 11 rebounds a game nearly this year, and he's forgetting how to rebound or catch a ball right there. That is semi open, I think. And he knocks down a 16% coverage shot. Dame Lillard now has no idea, but he has a lot anyway to start the game. And he's forced to rage quit this early. So I'm just going to go and play a game of Triple Threat Online here because. Well, that was just a really great first quarter, to be honest. And um, it took me like five minutes to try to find a game, which I couldn't find. So well, hopefully I'll be able to find a game here. Okay, perfect. That was a lot quicker than it was to find um, a game on Unlimited, which I just genuinely couldn't find one. But he's matching up to either Kevin Durant or Paul George, which is not going to be easy. Okay, so he's matched up to Paul George, which is not an easy matchup at all. And the ball's going right to Lillard. Stop. Don't take the two. And he missed it anyway. All right, just wait back. Good job forcing Giannis away from the hop. That's what we want. We want to force Giannis away from the glitchy animations and we let him get into a dunk animation. No ideal there. Okay, snatch back to nowhere. Okay, we're good. That is open and that's green hall of fame range extender he can pull from half court in uh, this game mode a hall of fame range extender coming in clutch right there dive 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 good job good pass by lillard and that's an easy finish there by paul george let's go i'm not gonna just shoot the ball with lillard because he is a point guard he's there for more than just shooting and scoring give him that okay that was not a good defense there at all that is open, I think. 21% covered already. Good rebound by Giannis, and it's a good dunk by him. Great, my one button's not working. Like, I'm spamming it and nothing's happening. So we just gotta give up the score. Great. I can't believe it has been three years and the R1 glitch is still in the game. Where sometimes, you, if both players, what's it, if both players hit R1 at the same time, no, you can't use your icons, the defensive player. That's opposite. Oh, landed right in his hands. Then there three of us surrounding him. And the one place the ball landed was exactly where he was. I'm going to snatch back into a drive this time. And burn him. Good job, Lillard. To the basket. Easy dunk. Steal. Lillard. On the break. All right, release. And he hits it. Oh, step back into the three-pointer from Lillard, who knocks it down. Like, he's hit some really high degree of difficulty shots here, not gonna lie. Some of the shots he's hit are so tough. Which says we've come up against a different different animal. Basically, two, two of the players that I use with a player that's... Well, the fact that they're not running through one player. That's the difference, really. And I didn't hold L2... The one time I don't hold L2, I guess, tripped. But, to be fair, we did come up against arguably the best triple track team. That would still put up a good performance there. So anyway, that is the video. Dame Lillard is a really, really good card. Honestly, i compare him to a Gilbert Arenas type player. Like, maybe Arenas better, maybe Lillard's better. It's a close one, but 
they are, in my opinion, for my play style anyway, what I want point guards to do, they are probably the two best point guards in the game, in my opinion. Obviously, your play style might be different, but I think Lillard's that good. Price, I think he's worth locking in for. Because again, locking in sets is never really worth it. Well, a lot of times, especially early. I think Lillard is probably worth, it's hard, about 200k for the full set. If it means you get Booker, if it means you get uh, the Amethyst, I'd say 200k and he's about worth it. I have no idea what price is the cards are because I only looked at extreme budget cards on console. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.